We're in the Bassmaster studio today talking to Bill Lowen, uh, one of the original Elite Series anglers and probably the guy on tour known for flipping a tube more than anyone else. It's not a tube just for smallmouth, you flip a tube all over the country. And walk us through how you rig that tube because it's very important to rig it the right way. You know, if you all told me I had one bait to use the rest of my career, this is what it would be. Um, you can take this bait from north all the way to south, smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass, um, and it's gonna catch all three. Um, depending on how you rig it. Um, you know, for me, typically when my boat rolls out of the dock, I typically have a tube tied on all the time. Um, you know, it's just one of them baits that I grew up fishing, one of the baits that I have confidence in, and one of the things for me is I always try to do something different than everybody else is doing. And not a lot of guys flip a tube anymore. Um, that's another reason I like to throw it so much, because a lot of guys lose a lot of fish on it. You know, I love hearing guys say, Man, I just lost so many fish on a tube, I don't even throw it anymore. To me, that's a big plus because I feel like I'm one of the only guys using this bait anymore. Um, so to me, the most important thing is rigging the bait. Um, and we're gonna share that with you right here today, which is kind of one of my secrets that I don't wanna share, but I'm gonna share it with you guys at home. We're pulling back the curtain. We're, we're pulling we're back lowering. the curtain, okay? So typically what happens on a tube, and I call this getting tube because guys will set the hook, fish will come up, throw the bait, and the tube will be all balled up on the hook. I call that getting tubed. All right, so what happens, the very first mistake that most guys make is we're gonna use a 4 EW EWG style hook. This is a Hayabusa heavy duty hook, okay? Um, and, the, and the big key is once I get this rigged, I'm gonna show you some things you can do to increase your hookups, okay? The biggest problem that a lot of guys make is they rig a tube like they would a traditional style soft plastic, okay? When I say that, what I mean by that is they insert the hook into the tube and they pull the hook eye down into the bait, okay? That's what most guys do with their tube. And then they'll rig it, they'll text rig it, you know, like you traditionally would, and then they'll stick the tip of their hook back into the tube, okay? Two things that this does that makes you lose fish is one, by putting the eye of the hook into the head of the bait, you take away the gap of the hook that's designed to hold the saw plastic at the top. So what happens is when you set the hook, that tube will slide down because there's no gap to hold that hook up, okay? The other thing that happens is when you bury this hook into this tube and you set the hook, the hook penetrates into the tube, okay? So what you wanna do is never bury the eye of the hook, all right? Just go in enough to where the eye of the hook stays exposed out of the bait, okay? Just like that. And what that does is it leaves all that plastic in that gap so that tube cannot slide down that hook, all right? The high boost hook is really good because it's already bent to lay perfectly flat on this tube. So when you go through this tube to tech expose it, see how that's laying right level with the tube? Okay, I very rarely ever even stick the tip of the hook back into the tube, okay? If you're using an EWG style in a different brand, um, just take your pair of pliers and put a little bit of tweak on that and you wanna get this hook to lay level on the back of that tube, okay? It's gonna increase your hookups. Um, you know, a lot of guys say, well, I'm gonna get hung up when I'm flipping into bushes. I very rarely get hung up with this bait when it's rigged like that. You know, to me, it's all about increasing your hookups, um, and that's exactly how I'd rig a tube. Um, typically on a quarter ounce or a 3 16 ounce Rains tungsten weight, never pegged, okay? Never pegged, that's something. Never we, pegged. Pegging soft plastics is really popular, why don't you? You know, for me, when I peg a soft plastic, when I'm gonna be fishing really, really heavy cover or, or punching grass or something like that, I always wanna get the most action out of my bait that I can get, and by not having that bait um, pegged, Let's get this weight down here. Not having this bait pegged, what happens is when you flip this in there to the lay down or the stump or the flooded bushes, whatever you're flipping, um, and you snap that tube. I do little short snaps. I don't crawl it or swim it like you would a lizard or a worm or something like that. Um, I do little short snaps. And what happens is this tube will jump up off the bottom and the weight will separate from the bait, okay? When this weight goes to jerk back down, it's on a slack line basically. So it's dipping and darting and flashing um, and being very erratic. And I feel like that action triggers a reaction bite. You know, look, let's face it, fish are only feeding about 10% of the time. Okay, that other 90% of the time, they're in a, what we call a lethargic mood. Um, so we're trying to trigger that reaction bite. Same, same thing we do with square bills and spinner baits and top waters and things like that. So if you can take a soft plastic bait and trigger that reaction bite, you're gonna be way ahead of the game. So like I said, get you a four aught. Um, this is a Hayabusa hook. This is a four and a half inch Strike King Denny Briar flipping tube. Get you a quarter or three sixteenths ounce tungsten weight. 
getting them bushes or lay downs or whatever. Um, and I guarantee you, your percentage of hookups is gonna go way up. You're gonna put a lot more fish in the boat. Well, there's three things that Bill Lowen does with the tube that most people don't keep it unpegged, keep the hook eye exposed, and then don't bury the hook point into the bait. Catch a lot more fish on a tube.